Hi, this is Kelly from Kelly's Bee Boutique. So a little while ago, I put one of my Facebook Live videos on YouTube. Who knew that it would be so popular? So the only problem was that it didn't have the ending on it because somebody forgot to put it on and there was all kinds of technical glitches and it really looked crappy, but everybody loved the project. So now I'm gonna remake it. So it is my four strand wrap bracelet, which everybody seems to love. So I hope this one's a little bit easier for you to watch. All right, thanks so much. Okay, so what we're going to use today is about two yards of leather, and this is the, I think it's called antique gray color. I've got a lovely little tear in here in um, the antique uh, brass, and I've got a couple different colors of Picasso 6 aught seed beads, and I'll make sure to put in the description the number and the name of them. And I also am going to use uh, some O beads for a little bit of a, a decorative sort of pattern here. I'm also going to use um, a tube for doing my barrel knots and I use a little bit of GS Hypo glue at the end and pretty much the only other tool I'm going to need is a pair of sharp scissors. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've got two equal lengths thereabouts of leather. So I just took my two yards that I had and I cut it in half. I'm then going to take my leather and I'm going to run it through the shank of the button and I suppose you could use a button that didn't have a shank but I like to kind of hide it a little bit so I'm going to find my ends and I'm going to run down and get my button towards the middle and this doesn't have to be exact but I do like to have it fairly centered okay so now I've got four pieces of leather there so I'm going to do a barrel knot so what I do is I take my little tube and I place it on my leather and I sort of squish it between the two different sets, like I split it two and two. Now I'm going to take the furthest most one away from me, so the outer one, and I'm going to pull it down towards me. And then I'm going to wrap it around once and I'm always working towards my left hand. And you'll see that I kind of grab it with my fingers so that I have some control. I'm going to take it once, twice, three times and four times. Now I'm going to make sure that I grab hold of that little knot because I don't want it to fall apart. I'm going to take the end of that and I'm going to put it through the back side of the tube and you'll see that it comes out the front side of the tube. Now I'm going to pull the tube out. And that, it's not going to be needed again until the end. And I'm going to pull this down. You see I'm still holding on to the knot so you can't see it but I don't want it to fall apart. So now there's my knot, but it's way far away. So this is the piece that I was working with. So I'm gonna sort of put that in the, um, in the back there and I'm gonna move it down with the other ones. Okay, so you always wanna make sure that you're moving it with the ones that you didn't wrap with and when you wanna tighten it up, you then use the one that you were wrapping with. So I sort of get it where I want it and I wanna give about, I don't know, quarter inch gap there, making sure that all the uh, wraps are nice and neat. And I'm, you can see I'm not pulling it fast. I'm doing it nice and slow to make sure that everything's the way I want it to be. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a nice little pull. Okay, so there's our little wraps. So now what you wanna do is make sure that on your ends that you have cut them at a nice sharp angle. Even though that this is one millimeter leather, it still can be some a uh, little bit hard to get into your beads sometimes. So I'm going to do just a little bit of a pattern and I'm not going to make you watch this whole part. I've got through the magic. I've already got one made up. So I'm just going to show you how I do this. So you can do any kind of a pattern you like, whatever tickles your fancy. There, that's, you know, it's completely limitless as to what you do. Oops. So I've got six of these really pretty Picasso's on there and then I'm going to put on three of my little o, o beads and O beads are great because oops they well they're falling off my fingers <laughs> that's what always happens right okay get on there um, they're nice because they have they're so small on the outside they make like a, it looks like a great little spacer all right and then I'm going to put on 
three of this. See, that one's got a smaller hole. Sometimes they'll have a smaller hole and I just put those ones aside and I use them in another project. Okay, now I'm gonna take one of the spacers and one of the original ones, another spacer. And then three more of this really yummy sort of turquoise color. And I'm just creating a little bit of a pattern and I'll show you what my pattern is here in a second if you haven't already been able to figure it out. I've got six of my lighter color six aught seed beads and then I've got three of my O beads another three of my um, turquoise seed beads here. I've got an O bead and then I've got one of the original colors and another O bead and then I've repeated that with three and then three. And then so I would just follow that all along and I would do that on all four pieces. And it's kind of a really nice little pattern that repeats nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, switch over and show you the one that I've already completed. I've got about five and a half inches of beads on here, but you can make it to fit your uh, own wrist. So you can see I've just repeated the pattern along until I've come to the end. And I don't really care that it doesn't start and stop with the same color beads. You know, it doesn't really matter when it's on your wrist. Okay, so now I'm gonna do another barrel knot here to close these up. So because we've got so much extra um, cording, it doesn't really matter which one we use. So again, I'm just gonna sort of lay. I'm then going to take my little tube and place it in between the four, so I split them in half. Now taking the outermost one, I'm going to reach behind and bring it towards me and go around once, twice, three, and four. And you can see when I bring it around the fourth time, what I do is I grab it from behind and I'm bringing it up and around. If you uh, pull it from behind, you're only gonna end up with uh, three wraps. So you have to bring it up to the front and then back through the tube. So I'm gonna take it and put it through the little tube. And we do have these tubes available on our website and I'll put a link to them because it's one of the most asked questions is where do I get the tubes? So now you wanna make sure that you keep your fingers on top of this knot so that it doesn't fall apart when you pull that little tube off. Now you're gonna pull that out. And now you can see that they are gonna probably move around a little bit. So what I do is I get them all sort of shored up and then I move this down. We have to make sure we, that's the one that I was knotting with, so I'm gonna pull that off. Now I'm gonna pull these down a little bit. And it take, it's a little, a little fidgety, but you just kinda move them around with your fingers. Now what I wanna do is make sure that they're all approximately the same length. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. Just the way that this bracelet works when it's on, it doesn't really matter if it's even, but I don't wanna have a big gap. So I'm gonna sort of adjust it a little bit. And I'm gonna to start to do up this knot. And once it's get, it gets a little bit tighter, then I can just have a quick look. Any of these that are need to be pulled up, I can just pull up the leather a bit. There we go. And that's the one that tightens it all up. And I do pull it fairly tight, but you wanna be careful with this one millimeter leather. It's not that it's super fragile, but it, it can break on you. Okay, so now I need to make um, a hole for my button. So what I do is I just sort of place it in here and have a little look to measure. And I need a, a little, another little knot about here. So I'm gonna repeat right about here. So I'm gonna take my little tube, place it between my leathers, I'm just gonna split that so it's halfway in between. I don't think it really matters, but that's just kind of the way I'm gonna do it so that there's some consistency for you. All right, I'm gonna take this outermost one and I'm gonna wrap it around once, twice, three, four, and then I'm gonna place it through the back end of the tube. And now I'm gonna just have a little look. Looks like it needs to come down just a little bit. Okay. 
And then right before I tighten it up, I'm just going to ch double check again to make sure that that button fits through there perfectly. And that's nice and it's tight, but not too tight. You don't want to ever stress your leather out. Okay. So that's pretty good. So now what I would do here is because bracelets do take a fair amount of um, punishment on your wrist. I would take a little bit of GS Hypo and I would just sort of separate my leathers and put a little dab right in there and then put a little dab. I just sort of find the inside of the knot right there and put a little dab. I just put a little tiny bit right now because I don't want um, a big wet glop while I'm working. And now we're going to embellish the ends. Okay, so now I'm going to embellish the ends. So all I'm going to do is make a little bit of a pattern and you can kind of do whatever you like. You can start your dark colors first or your light colors or whatever works for you. And I'm just going to put a, a few on here. So I'm going to maybe try three of the, my light colored ones. And sometimes these little O beads can be a little tough to get on. One thing with check glass is they, I mean, they're very similar, but sometimes they can have a little bit of inconsistency to them. Let's put a couple of those, a couple of the blue ones. Yeah, and that looks kind of nice. So then what I'm going to do is create just a tiny little barrel knot on the end there. Take so my tube. Now I don't have a whole um, bunch of other leather. I'm just going to do it on the one that's single. So I'm just going to take it and hold it next to it and wrap it around just three times because I just want a small one there. Put it through the end. And pull it out. Now I want to make sure that I get it positioned right where I want it. And then I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, so now you can leave a little bit of a tail in there, like you could start it down here and have them really dangly, but I kind of, I like it like that. So I'm going to just finish this up and then I'll come back and show you how to finish the end of it. Okay, so now you can see that I've finished embellishing and I'm just going to do one final barrel knot just to make sure you know what you're doing with these. So again, I'm going to go around my tube once, twice, three times, always working towards my left hand. Take my little tail, put it through the end, and pull out. And just kind of make sure that's where you want it. And then tighten that up. There we go. So now I'm just going to take my scissors and trim these all off. If you wanted to, you could add a little charm in here somewhere. I would maybe leave a little bit of space if you wanted to add a charm. And I like these just sort of twisted once and then put on so that they're not like completely perfectly straight. I think they have a little more interest. And then you can do that up. And there you go. There's our four stranded wrap bracelet. So I hope you found this one a little bit easier to follow than the first one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, to comment, to like it. Um, you can also leave me some uh, comments and tell me what you'd like me to do in my next video. So thanks again for watching.